All right, guys, my SD ran out of time, so this is going to be split into two videos, I guess. Um, so once you get that all said, done, cleaned up, make sure you clean this up really good, too, guys. Make sure you get all that JB Weld off. Um, you do not want any JB Weld left on this whatsoever. If any gets on there. Um, so I was saying, once you get to this point, it looks kind of like that. Sit upon, dry, spray paint it. All right, guys. And uh, I'm going to get back to you in a moment on the rest of the project okay so at this point guys take that one and a half inch um, shrink wrap that I was talking about and measure you out a piece just a little bit bigger than the cap So, um, maybe looking at about twice the, twice the length of the cap and then cut her off. Oops. Missing somewhere. All right, doesn't have to be perfect, but then we're gonna slip that down in there and take our heat gun. Fire up the old heat gun. Alright, so when you're doing this, try to keep it as centered as possible. Now, I should have done this beforehand, but you can take your ferro rod and stick it in there to give you a little extra length. Alright, so that you're not heating your hand up you might heat your hand up a little bit till you get it shrunk just a teeny bit all right once it starts shrinking just go with it Alright guys, I'm going to take a second and finish this up and I'll get back to you in a moment. Alright guys, once you get it done, it's going to look a little little funny. Alright, something kind of like that. But let it cool down. It's going to take a little time to cool, but let it cool down and uh, we'll get back to it in a moment. Okay, once it has a moment to, to cool down... What we'll do is we'll just slice off most of it. Not super clean yet. Uh, geez, my wrong blade. That's my old one. It's no good. Gotta replace it. But cut off most of it.
those sides. Um, on the bottom side, not the part that's rounded, but the flat side, you don't have to clean this up so nice. Um, a little nicer than that. Once you get it to where you can see what you're doing, go ahead and clean it up a little bit more. <laughs> And then on this side, try to clean it up real nice and, and save as much as, it, as much as you can around the hole so you're not taking too much away when you clean it up, all right? I'm going to finish cleaning this up and I'll get back to you in a moment. All right, so when you get done, guys, your top should be like that. A little bit of white showing, but not too much. You still got most of the curve. And then the bottom... As long as the threads are exposed and you can screw it on to your, uh, your, uh, your handle all right, you're totally good right here. As long as you can screw it on, it's good, all right? Which we need to take a little bit more off to be able to do that. I'll get back to you in a moment. Okay, so once you got it to where you can screw your threads on, or screw your cap on, which I am there, barely, but I'm there, go ahead and drop your ferro rod in, okay, and then screw it on for the first time and what's going to happen are these little edges here are actually going to cut the rest of the plastic off once you get it down far enough make sure you get that on there straight And this is why, because when you're really getting down on it, this is why you want that rubber. It'll really save your hands and make things easier. You'll regret not doing it. But it will have cut a ring all the way around there. And it doesn't look like it quite got through all the way, but it at least gave me a score. And I can come back with my razor blade. Finish cutting it. screw that on one I'll get back and show you in a moment guys all right so you'll see how nice and clean it ends up doing it for you um, I just had to screw it back on and off a couple of times and cut into it again so if you guys have completed everything right so far and you can actually stop at this point you do not need to go any further unless you would like to have the paracord and striker and i will be back in a minute oh. no. looky there i need to clean things up in here a little bit So you really do want this to be tight like this because the tighter you get that, the tighter this will end up. But at this point, it's pretty much done. You tighten it down, it's on there. 
it's on there good and tight and you'll see that that doesn't go anywhere it doesn't move wiggle anything all right it is secure as it's gonna get all right now like i said at this point you, you can be done now if you would like to continue on and watch how i do the rest of it um stay tuned All right, guys, so what I usually do is uh, 13 feet of paracord. Um, if you're worried about it, push to 15. Um, but 13 should be plenty. Um, the way I measure it out to make really quick is I just find piece of cardboard or I use my board here or whatever mark out one foot and then just drag out to the edge one foot two foot three foot so on and so on till you get to you know 13 to 15 feet depending on what you decide to go with and uh, be sure to clean your ends up so that you don't get any fraying. That's very important. Okay. <clears throat> so once you have your 13 feet, just put it to a side. Grab some of your snare wire. Um, this step's not necessarily important but I find that it really helps to keep things kind of grippy um, so that you don't end up your uh, the wrap doesn't end up spinning so so much um, actually it, it stops it from spinning altogether so just measure yourself out like, oh, I don't know, seven, eight feet. Doesn't have to be a whole lot. Um, cut it off. Yes, guys, I know I need a decent pair of multi-tools. Or a multi-tool. <clears throat> so, and what we'll do is we'll put it on there. Give it just a little twist at the end so that you, you have it attached there. Take it all the way back. Um, you might want to make sure that it's able to not s sit there and just spin. So once you get it going, you're just going to go ahead and wrap it. All right. And leave a little bit. Of, ooh, darn it. It gave loose on me. Let me fix that and come back to you. Okay. As I was getting ready to say, leave a little space between it. So that it acts as like a, you know, a nice ridge. And that's a good part of what's going to help with this once it's all said and done. So let me finish this up and I'll show you what it looks like when I'm done. All right, guys. So when you get done, you should have something that looks kind of like this. doesn't have to be completely clean, but I think uh, I have my little piece, my little tie off here hanging. Um, however you choose to tie it off works. That's a matter of preference. All right, so then we're gonna take some duct tape, the length of the handle. Oh, I get a little 
too big. I did just a little bit. All right. And then we're going to put that on the handle the best we can and cover that up. Now it's not going to go all the way around so you're going to have to get a second piece and, and cover that side and then once you've covered both sides go through and really push it down to where you can see ribs throw, uh, showing through from the, the snare wire. I'll get back to you in a moment. Alright guys, so when it's done it should look something like this. You can kind of see the ridges coming through. And this is what's between the tape and the uh, snare wire. Stainless steel by the way. hope that's what you're using. If not, you didn't watch my last video. Or the first video on this. So we're going to take our uh, paracord and our striker we're going to get a piece of tape about four inches long ready okay and what we're going to do is string the striker in there to where it's right dead smack in the middle uh, of both ends so Put it on there, grab your, your two ends together, and then run it all the way down to the center. All right. And what we're going to do is from the bottom of the side where it's got the threads, all right, all the way around we're going to make sure that it doesn't have to be tight it can be loose that there's enough paracord all right and when i say loose i don't mean super loose to bring it around and then still have a little bit dangling about a half an inch at the end to bring it back and once you figure out that length all right, and I'm gonna go back and do a better job in figuring it out. You're gonna hold both ends like that and we're gonna tape it so it holds it in place, okay? So hold on one second and I'll show you what it's supposed to look like. Hey guys, I realized I was showing you backwards. So the way you actually wanna do it is <laughs> off the back side here. So make sure that there's enough, no, So, hold on, let me figure this out. Uh, Alright guys, so you put it to where you have enough rope to start from the threaded side, or enough to go around, come back, and have a little bit hanging over. And if you see, I got about an inch hanging over the, the top here. Alright. Keep them closed together right here or at this side and kind of spread them a little bit when you tape them down so that it wants to spread out get yourself a second piece of tape make sure that they're spread out equally on on both sides my hands kind of in the way but where it's you know right up the middle all right and once you do that Tape it off. So that you can see there it's kind of halfway all right now we're gonna get into that knotting that we did 
in the second video. All right. So remember, we're going to do the spiral here. So it's always going to be same side over the top. All right. We'll just get that started. All right, and this is going to be the hardest one is, is to get it started. Once you got it started, you should be able to slowly get it tightened up. Now, word of uh, advice, and I'm going to do it here in a minute after I pause and, and get at this, is uh, you might want to put band-aids on your pinkies and your pointer fingers just to keep the paracord because you're going to want to make sure that you get this really good and tight as tight as you possibly can all right and this is a lot easier to do off camera where i can put it in my lap and, and go at it but remember what we're doing here is the spiral knot and it's going to be always the same side going over the top and going at it. Now let me get it going a little bit and I'll come back and show you what it's supposed to look like started. Okay guys, so by now you should have a good twisted braid going like that and it should be real, real snug. It shouldn't want to twist or move. It should be really tight and looking pretty. Um, if it's not it's probably because it's a little harder to do it around something like this than it would be um, just going around some its its own string. So what I do when I'm doing it like this, now that I got it started and I can actually show you a little better. All right is I pull one side, then I pull the other side, and I go back and forth, and I do that a few times really hard. And this is why I'm saying put the, the Band-Aids on. It's kind of hard to see, but they're on there. All right, and I have them on both hands. Is because this paracord will eventually start cutting into you from you you're really trying to get it on there good and tough so one side back to the other side until you, it just can't get any tighter okay guys so it gets that really nice good looking spiral going on make sure you got it pushed to the bottom side real tight so there's not too much of a gap in between and uh, i'm gonna finish up to just the bottom here of this lip all right and get back to you don't go past that point all right guys so if you get done with it it should look about like that now I made a huge mistake and uh, luckily you guys probably haven't had the chance to make this mistake yet but I said 13 feet and it's really more like 20 feet um, I got enough to show you the transition all right so when you get done the part that's got the striker on it should be on the end with the threads okay and you come all the way up to the top all right and the transition, well, is we're not going to go around the, the tube anymore. We're only going to come around the string now, or the paracord. All right. And we're going to go to the flat knot now. Now, if you remember the flat knot in the other video, you alternate back and forth. Okay. So this one went over the top this way. Now we're going to come over the top the other way. So we're coming over the top from opposite directions. 
every time. Okay. Something wrong there. Had to have gone the wrong way. So you should have a transition to a flat that looks like that off of the side. And you would continue it all the way down the flat till you get to about an inch and a half or an inch or so, about an inch, all right? And tie it off. Just tie a knot, melt it down to where it's not going to come loose. And then really tightly around it, bind it with some electrical tape, okay? And so when you're all done, you should should have a, a loose spot like that. All right. And then he'll be all done. Um, at that point, you would just wrap it around like that. Bring this back down like that. And then real tightly put some ranger bands on there. And leave a, a space when you do um you know what i'm gonna come back with a short to show you that but i have to go and undo all this re measure me out some paracord and come back so i'm not gonna put it on this video guys just go ahead and finish it all the way down to that spot that i said and tie it off okay and then look for a short from me showing how to take some ranger bands and make this to where you can attach it to things on your belt loop uh, your backpack or whatever so um that's pretty much going to be the end of it guys sorry this one's been so chaotic i, I definitely did not have myself together for this one and i, I apologize but stick with me i mean this uh project i'm sure will bring you plenty of enjoyment if you take the time to do it and uh, i really appreciate you guys bearing through this one and for you who stuck to the end i really appreciate it you guys are awesome and uh remember god's good god bless